Hello oh, chess lovers, let's have a look at one of the games played at Tata Steel Masters 2018, with the white pieces playing Indian chess grandmaster Baskaran Adiban and his opponent is the reigning world chess champion Magnus Carlsen. Adiban started with e4 and e5 by Carlsen, knight f3, knight c6, knight c3, knight f6, we see the four knights game and white goes for scotch variation d4, e takes d4, knight takes d4, bishop b4, knight takes c6, b takes c6, bishop d3, d5, e takes d5 and we see castling by both sides. Well, instead of castling king side, capturing on c6 is also playable, but black can get quite a pretty counterplay by playing rook e8 check if bishop e3 then knight g4. Probably Adiban thought that going for pawn grabbing against the world champion might be very dangerous and he safely castled king side. c takes d5, bishop g5 c6 strengthening the pawn on d5 queen f3 white is putting more pressure on f6 square but carlsen played bishop d6 instead of bishop e7 he doesn't mind to have doubled pawns on f6 square rook e1 rook b8 b3 a5 h3 h6 and here adiban captured on f6 queen takes f6 and we see the exchange of queens now if we have a look at the position, white has no weaknesses in his camp and on the other side, though black has a strong bishop pair, but black has so many pawn islands, also this doubled pawns on f file. It's difficult to believe that it's possible to lose this position with the white pieces. Right now the threat is bishop b4 and Adiban played knight e2, c5, knight g3, rook d8, Knight f5, now the pawn on h6 is hanging, Carlsen plays bishop f8 and after knight e7 check we see the exchange on e7, bishop e6, rook d1, c4, Carlsen is trying to sharpen the game, bishop e2, now comes a4, making the position more and more complicated, b takes a4, bishop f5, and in this position Adiban made a very strange decision, he played bishop f3. Well it's not quite clear why he didn't play c3, stop this d pawn, also move away the pawn under the fire. But instead after bishop f5 we see bishop f3 and gradually after d4 we will see that white is starting to have problems. Here comes another strange move by Adiban a5. He is giving up the pawn on c2 and Carlsen is simply capturing on c2 and this is becoming very scary, look at this mighty passed pawns on c4 and on d4 squares. Of course black has a poor passed pawn on a5 square but what can this poor pawn do? Rook c1, rook b1, exchanging the rooks and this is becoming more and more dangerous, rook c7, there it goes, c3, bishop d1, rook a8, the rook is coming after the a pawn, rook c5, and Carlsen is capturing on a2, bishop c2, bishop e6, king f1, white king is coming to support his pieces but already it's too late, rook c8, and once the rooks drop this is an easy win, king e2, by the way if you play something like bishop d3 preventing bishop a6 check then anyways black can play bishop a6, if bishop takes a6 then simply c2 and this pawn is unstoppable. After bishop takes c8 we see king e2, here comes bishop a6 check, king f3, d3 and Adiban resigned. Well there is no way to stop black pawns, this is going to be an easy win for black. This game comes to prove once again that Magnus Carlsen is a true master of end games. The way he managed to sharpen that position full of weaknesses and win the game just leaves the spectators speechless. It will be also very interesting to know your opinion about this game. Don't hesitate to leave your comments. Good luck.